In this video, we will be showing the daily cleaning procedure for a Taylor C709 Gravity Fed Freezer and the Flavor Burst Stripe Injector Assembly. It is recommended to complete this process shortly before the heat treat cycle. The first thing we will do is remove the handle from the freezer, which will prevent the freezer from being used during the cleaning process and heat treat cycle. Now we will remove the Flavor Burst injector assembly. Twist the rotor motor and pull up to release the rotor motor from the gearbox assembly. Now slightly push and twist the syrup manifold and while twisting the syrup manifold, pull it until it releases from the injector head assembly. Slide the syrup manifold and 9 tube assembly out of the way. Release the suspension bracket from the freezer door and pull the injector assembly from the freezer spout. Now we will disassemble the injector head assembly. First, remove the adapter by lining up the tabs with the slots on the injector head. Now twist the injector head while pulling to release it from the gearbox and then remove the gear cartridge. Now we will remove the parts from the Taylor freezer which require daily cleaning. Have a bucket or paper towel ready as the parts will be wet with mix. First remove the mix agitator and place it into a bucket. Next remove the orifice from the mix feed tube. Make sure to swivel the blade up to the closed position while cleaning. Now that all the necessary parts are removed, take the parts over to a sink for cleaning. First rinse each of the parts individually. Using small cleaning brushes, scrub each part. On the injector head, make sure to use a small brush to clean inside the two syrup ports. Now fill up a bucket with 2 gallons of clean warm water. Using a Taylor 10 quart bucket, the water should be near the line as you can see here. We will now add 2 ounces of Sterichine to the water and mix until it is dissolved. Now that the sanitizer is mixed, we will now add the rinsed parts to the sanitizer. Soak these parts for 5 minutes. After the parts have soaked, remove and dry the parts with a single service towel. Now we will reassemble the Flavor Burst Injector Assembly. First, place the gear cartridge in the gear box. Make sure you line up the teeth on the gear cartridge with the gear in the gear box. Now line up the tabs on the injector head with the slots on the gear box. Press and turn the injector head to lock it into place. Firmly press the spout adapter to the spout on the freezer. Now line up the slots on the injector head assembly with the tabs on the spout adapter. Press up on the injector head and twist the collar on the injector head to lock it into place. Secure the suspension bracket on the freezer door. Line up the tabs on the syrup manifold with the slots on the injector head port. Press and twist the syrup manifold to lock it into place. 
Now, line up the gear on the rotor motor with the gear in the gear cartridge. When twisting the motor into place, make sure to line up the arrow on the motor with the arrow on the gear box. Now, place the mix agitator back into the hopper and the air orifice back into the mix feed tube. After the heat treat cycle has completed, return to the machine. At this time, replace the draw handle. Remove the lid from the hopper and make sure to swivel the blade on the mix feed tube back down to the open position. This is very important as failure to open the mix feed tube will starve the barrel and product won't dispense. Now you have successfully completed the daily cleaning procedure for the Taylor Freezer and Flavor Burst Injector Assembly.